a spray-on can of initiative for your staff would be wonderful, but we don't have it. What we're talking about today is why your staff don't do it like you do. Alan, come and join us. Right. The problems are really, from your perspective, what, when you're not there, when the boss isn't there, nothing gets done like you do. The staff just don't produce like they do when you're around, and that means you have to be there. That means all the pressure is on the owner or manager of the business. You can't have any confidence in what's going to happen when you're not there. There's always that slight element of stress any time you're out of earshot. They don't think about the business like you do. They don't care about the business like you do. They don't care about the bottom line, which is really what pays your grocery bill. They're hopeless. No one can do it better than you can. What causes that, Brian? Well, part of it is that you steal their initiative. Yes, they lack initiative, but without the right reward processes in place and that magic word, thank you, a lot gets falls by the wayside. It may also reflect your inability to effectively delegate. Um, it may reflect that you don't have very clear measurable standards and very clear measurable outcomes. If you have a subjective outcome, it's much harder to measure it than saying we have to have 23 of those by 5 o'clock today. You may not have incentives that are as real as your incentive that you have, which is your bottom line. If somebody is only getting a salary irrespective of their efforts, their incentives may not be the same as yours. You probably don't have effective training. You should have a goal which says, I want a business where my staff can all do it better than me. In reality, a spray can is not the solution. Spray on initiative is not something that happens, but you can foster initiative in your organisation. What sort of recommendations would we have, Alan? I'd recommend a thorough training scheme. The first person that needs to be trained is you, the owner. You need to know how to delegate work out. Then you need to train your staff how to do the operation itself. You need measurable standards and outcomes so you can tell they're doing the right thing, and then you need rewards so you can reward the right thing. What those things are going to do is build trust. So let's throw away the imaginary dream and get on with doing it for real. Thank you.